what a time we live in. Wow. Um, so this is a little bit different of a video for me. Uh, don't expect it to do too well. Albetsky 44 here. Yeah, so what a time we live in. Uh, Halo and other like major Xbox exclusive games are rumored to be coming to PlayStation and Nintendo Switch, but PlayStation is kind of the big one right now. I know most people know about this, and this has been talked about endlessly, and I'm not going to really say much different things to everybody else, but it's just so weird to me because I am majority a PlayStation player. I, I've always been more PlayStation, uh, PlayStation centric, uh, everything from, I've had every PlayStation console, uh, from the PSP Vita, PS1, just everything, PSVR2, if it's PlayStation, I've bought it. Um, and I have been an Xbox person. The OG Xbox was like my favorite Xbox ever. And the main reason that was, was because of Halo. It's not even my favorite Xbox ever. I should. It's probably my top three consoles of all time. Like I, I just love the OG Xbox, and that was because of Halo Combat Involved. And I, I remember always thinking, like, yes, this is great, but I always wanted to play it on PlayStation. It was just something that was always in my head, and you know, like it, that's just not gonna happen. There's no way. That's that's the Xbox exclusive. That's Xbox's baby. No way that could ever happen. And. Now it seems like it's possible. I, I, you know, as I grew up and got older, like most of my friends and everything was on PlayStation, so I was always kind of playing Halo kind of by myself. I was like, oh man, if this was on PlayStation, it'd be so great because you know that's where all my my buddies were. And now it seems like it's a possibility. Now I have mixed feelings about this, of course. Uh, selfishly i am beyond excited like i would love to get a platinum trophy for halo i would love to be able to play halo on the playstation with the dual sense because i just prefer that controller i prefer that ecosystem but it also is a little bit scary because like like playstation needs that competition right it, it would be it would be very weird for playstation not to have that major competition through xbox especially if xbox is going to bring games like i mean starfield was one they talked about hi-fi rush uh indiana jones gears of war even like all these games that would just bring not strength in competition it would be it would just be a whole new world i guess we don't really know how that would actually affect PlayStation, affect Xbox, affect Nintendo, but it would be kind of kind of scary in a way, because when PlayStation is way ahead and they don't have to worry about anything, they get kind of lazy and lackadaisical and then don't really do much. Uh, you know, Xbox Game Pass kind of forced them to do PlayStation Plus Essential and Premium and uh, had to make them do things that they probably didn't want to do. And if this is the change, if Xbox is going third party, if Halo is going to be coming to PlayStation, I, that's a whole new world. I, I think this would be great for Halo itself. I mean, just imagine how many more people are going to be playing Halo. I'm not sure if Xbox would bring the Master Chief Collection or Infinite or what their plan would be, but like so many people would be invested in that game. That would just... I can't imagine how many new players there would be uh, for Halo, especially if they bring the Master Chief Collection over. Let's say they start with that. You got Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, ODST, and Reach. All those games, all those experiences, all those stories that players are going to be playing for the first time, possibly. That's going to do wonders for them. And then all the microtransactions, all the multiplayer, like just everything. It's going to be great for the Halo community and great for Halo in general. More people are probably going to watch the TV show, even though the TV show is really not that good. It, it, it's a lot. It, it's a lot. And I guess we're, we're going to see sometime next week, Xbox is supposed to make some statement. Business event, I believe they called it. So we'll see what goes down during this business event. But... Man, I, I, I just, I wanted to make a video just kind of to talk a little bit because Halo is like probably my top three favorite game series of all time, even though I am a PlayStation guy, but Halo will always be like huge for me. I mean, I still buy an Xbox just because of Halo. Um, yeah. Weird, weird, weird times. I, I don't know. I, I'm excited to see what happens. I, I feel for the Xbox people that are mainly Xbox. I mean, if this was like, you know, like God of War or something on the PlayStation and going to 
Xbox, I, I mean, I would be extremely, extremely worried. Um, I know a lot of Xbox people are extremely worried, and it's understandable. Uh, they don't know what's happening to the system if their Xbox is going to continue, if it's going to be Microsoft Game Pass now. And it's just, there's so much in the air, so many rumors, and I guess we'll just wait and see. But I just wanted to make a video because this is a pretty big turning point in uh, video game history. Uh, I wanted to have my thoughts out there, especially the Halo portion, because Halo. <laughs> uh, let me know I mean, if this video gets any traction at all. Please like it. Please comment. I would love to have a talk with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Just a uh, discussion would be great. Uh, thank you guys for watching, as always, and being here. And uh, be safe out there. Peace.